afternoon my people welcome back this is victory voice tv coming to you again with another update i'm the president of uh, nigerian bar association mr yakub another yakubo uh, chonoko <laughs> my kayu son has called for live broadcast of proceedings of 2023 presidential election petition tribunal in the interest of openness, justice, transparency, trust in the judiciary. Another Yakubo is telling you that he wants live cast of the proceedings from the 2023 presidential election petition tribunal in the interest of openness, justice, transparency, and trust in the judiciary. I don't want to go into asking him some questions. Let me just read what I have here before I do my reactions. Of course, you know why you are coming on this channel. Candidate of the Labour Party and the People's Democratic Party are both challenging the result of 2023 presidential election, which was held on 25th of February 2023, and which produced Senator Bola Ahmed Tunibu as president-elect. The MBA president noted that a live telecast is in the interest of the people of Nigeria. Section 36 1 and 3 of the Constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria provides just judicial proceedings should be conducted in public. Providing public access to the proceedings will meet the aspiration of the public to participate in the process. Do you get that? Uh, it is good. It is good. But they are not starting from the roots. I must say it. Yes. Fairness and openness of judiciary. What happened to Nande Kano? No fairness for him. No openness for him. <laughs> that you stopped the white people. The, the uh, IPOP lawyer that came severally from US. In your daft mind, you, you guys blocked him off without being open. And you are running democratic setting. Well, that is not where I am going to right now. What did you do when, when the election was sham? When everything was doctored and passed through? And then they called Ahmed Tunubu as the president. Now you want to show us openness. Another Fulani Yakub. That is even interesting here. All right. Why must it be Fulani people all the while? All the while. What about other regions? You see why we say they have Fulanized Nigeria? Islamization. That is what they have done. It must be them in the helm of affairs. They are there in judiciary, everything they are doing. Now they want to confuse you the more. They want to do open something. But that's nothing like openness when they have already rigged election. And when it is still coming from a Fulani and Muslim person, you definitely get uh, technicalities and the uh, doctored judicial process. That's what they are doing. Let no man deceive you into believing the sham judicial process they are doing because it has never happened before. Even when they tried saying the truth during Nandekano's case. Hmm? What happened to those judges? Only God can tell. They transfer them to remote areas. They silence them there. All right? Who knows if they are still alive or not? Just for saying the truth. Now, after much, much, much fabricated and sham election, you are telling us open openness of judiciary. Well, we are watching. We are simply watching you. Another Yakub. Another Yakub. The one that did in INEC is not enough. They now want to finish it up in judiciary. Well, Peter B, hold your mind, though. hold it, hold it tight. May no offense for waiting you go here. Atiku, all of them are there together. Mona, continue. God, they watch. God is watching you all. Well, I just want to give it as a brief news now, not uh, making it too, too long for you. God bless you.